Howdy folks, I just upgraded to Windows 10 from Windows 7, uh, getting WAMP all set up and configured. Uh, and I'm going to do a quick screencast on how to set up virtual hosts in WAMP. Uh, this is going to be based off the article that I wrote, set up a virtual host on WAMP in three steps. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll throw in a link uh, to that article. Otherwise, uh, giddy up, let's go. So as you can see down here, I have my uh, green WAMP icon. WAMP is running just fine. I can uh, pop open um, my uh, local host page and I can see my projects. Um, that's great. Um, let's work on my personal site, uh, which is john-dugan.com. And we're going to set up a virtual host so that I can work on that locally at the uh, URL johndugan.local. All right, so the first step we're going to do is going to uh, uh, do some work in our Apache configuration file. So let's go ahead and pop that open, get a text editor open. And it looks like I've already got it open. No, I don't. I have my virtual host file open. All right. Bear with me here, peoples. Go to your WAMP directory, C WAMP. Uh, it's going to be in bin Apache, Apache, whatever your version is, uh, conf, HTTPD. I suppose before we do this, let's get out of WAMP. All right, and we're going to include virtual hosts. should be towards the top here, I thought. Load module. It's probably called vhost. I think it is, in fact. There you go. Load module vhost alias. Uh, it is uncommented, so virtual hosts should be active already. Uh, there's one more line that we need to deal with uh, to include our vhost configuration file. Um, I know that's further down here. Bear with me. There we go. We're going to uncomment this. Include conf extra http dvhost.conf. Save that. Let's go find that file. Uh, include extra http dvhost.conf. We're just following the path that was listed uh, in the httpd.conf configuration file that I just closed. Uh, here, WAMP gives us an example of how to create a virtual host. I'm not going to cover uh, creating virtual hosts. That's kind of a whole another area within itself as far as the uh, uh, different properties uh, and rules that you can implement. Apache, they have fantastic documentation. Um, so check out Apache, uh, their docs. Uh, other than that, I am going to take a backup file that I have from Windows 7 and just overwrite what we have in here. All right, here's my backup file. And as we can see, I have my johndugan.local uh, virtual host set up. All the virtual hosts in WAMP are stored in one file. It would be nice to uh, break the files apart, but I'm just not that ambitious. And uh, it's a development environment, so I'll, I'll stick to the WAMP way of doing things. Um, if you've worked on uh, Debian or Ubuntu, there's no um, commands for enabling a virtual host or disabling a virtual host. Um, like there is uh, in those uh, server setups, unfortunately. All right, so we've updated our uh, Apache configuration file. We've updated our virtual host configuration file. Uh, the final step is going to be uh, to deal with your host file on your machine. So that's typically C, Windows, driver uh, system 32 muscle memory kicks in uh, drivers etc hosts pop that baby open all right if my mouse
mouse would work. All right. You can see right here the local sites that I have. They're all pointing back to my local IP, uh, johndugan.local. There we go. So uh, that should fulfill our three steps. Include the virtual host configuration file. We've updated that. Um, or the Apache configuration file. We've also uploaded, updated the virtual host configuration file and we have uh, updated our host file. So let's start up WAMP again. Fingers crossed and it started just fine. Rut row. Let's do this. All right. Probably going to need to um, see what's up here. Yeah, my theme isn't there. Wah, wah. But the site should work. Um, I did previous to starting, uh, prior to starting to record this video, um, I did go ahead and go to uh, PHP my admin and update. If you're using a WordPress site, you're going to want to update the uh, home URL and site URL. I believe they're, they're called. Uh, you can hard code that in the uh, uh, WordPress configuration file. Um, or just use a tool like PHP my admin and go in the database and change it. But that's it. That's it, folks, for setting up uh, a site. A virtual host, rather, in WAMP. Cheers. Ah, hold on a tick, just so that you do believe me that we have a working virtual host. Uh, I've gone ahead and uh, cloned the missing theme files. We were just missing the uh, theme since I upgraded from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So let's go ahead and uh, drop that in the proper directory and uh, get the front end working so that there is no confusion. Great. That's done. Cool. So we should be able to visit the johndugan.local URL and everything should be hunky dory. Uh oh, <laughs> not quite. Uh, Cause since I tried to load it when a theme wasn't working, I'm sure it wigged out. All right, here's my themes, sweet, activate. All right, that looks about right, huh? Very cool, folks. We're all set.